In football, goals are the currency of victory. Every team step onto the pitch with the shared objective of scoring more goals than their opponent. Goals showcase a team's attacking prowess, strategy, and individual brilliance. They offer the thrill of celebration and the satisfaction of progress. However, the reality is that simply scoring goals doesn't necessarily guarantee trophies. You can testify to that when you look at the career of Harry Kane, one of the most dangerous strikers in football. But how have his skills measured up in his trophy cabinet? Harry Kane has had a fruitful goal-scoring career with Tottenham in England, with 307 goals in 514 appearances for clubs and country. Captaining the Spur side to a Champions League final and leading the three Lions to the Euro 2020 final. While his goal-scoring prowess has never been doubted, Kane has not won a major trophy on club or international level. Has Kane been unlucky? Why hasn't he win any major trophy after amassing such high goal-scoring record? The kid from North London who dreamed of winning trophies for his boyhood club was ultimately failed by them, and like Luka Modric, Dimitar Berbatov, Christian Eriksen, Kyle Walker and Gareth Bale before him, he has been forced to go elsewhere to achieve that goal. Tottenham failed him, Bayern will not. In this video, we revealed the untold story of Harry Kane, the technical finisher whose goals was unable to win him trophies, but has provided him with a sense of direction, motivation, and purpose. Whereby winning the Premier League Golden Boot Trice, 2015-16, 2016-17, and 2020-21, as well as the PFA Fans Player of the Year in 2016-17. Now is time to benefit from his goal, as he joined the German champions Bayern Munich, where trophies are won season in season out. Stay tuned for this captivating story, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for weekly videos. Let ride. Harry Kane was born on the 28th of July, 1993 in Walthamstow, England. His real name is Harry Edward Kane. Born in a large town in East London, he holds English nationality. This English player belongs to the white Caucasian ethnicity. He is a follower of Christianity. Kane grew up in a middle-class family. His family comprises of father Patrick Kane and mother Kim Kane. He has an older brother named Charlie Kane. Due to his intense interest in football, he started playing football from a young age, joining a local club. Ridgeway Rovers when he was six in 1999. He attended Larkswood Primary Academy until 2004. Then, he enrolled at Chingford Foundation School, which was where football legend David Beckham attended. The next on the cards for innocent-faced young man was to get noticed, and he didn't take any longer to do so. While honing his skills at Ridgeway Rovers, an Arsenal scout spotted him and offered training at Club's Academy under youth program. What happened next was something very much opposed to the expectation. As year after training at Arsenal's academy, Kane was released. Kane chubbiness and lack of athletics were the reasons he was dropped. Following the disappointment he suffered at Arsenal, he went on Tottenham Hotspur FC Youth Academy, where he was turned down. Kane had to return to Ridgeway Rovers. The dejected rising footballer never disappointed, and the amount of self-belief he had made him stood tall enough even after Watford took a look at him, and later turned him down. At the age of 11, Kane moved on to Watford Academy, where he was granted a six-week trial. During those six weeks, Kane managed to impress Tottenham scouts in a game against the Spurs, and he was welcomed to the Spurs Academy after initial rejection. Though Kane was not exceptional in the early days of his career, he progressed on his skills as he grew. He played in various midfield positions and competed in various tournaments for the Spurs in Mexico and Switzerland. A year later, Kane signed a scholarship contract with the Spurs in July 2009. He went in to sign his first professional contract with the Spurs. After signing the contract, Kane was moved on loan to different clubs. In January 2011, Kane was sent on loan to Leighton Orient, where he spent the remaining of the 2010-11 season. At the end of the 2010-11 season, Kane played for the Spurs in the UEFA Europa League qualifier. Kane was sent on loan again to Millwall FC in December that year, where he helped the team rise on the table, away from the threat of relegation. As a result, he was awarded the Millwall FC Young Player of the Year award for the 2011-12 season. In August 2012, 
he was sent on another loan to Norwich City for the 2012-13 season. But four months from his recall date, Kane was recalled by Tottenham as a result of lack of attacking options. 20 days after Kane was recalled, he went on loan to Leicester City where he spent the rest of the season which ended his loan spells. Kane went on to record his first goal for the Spurs in a league tie match against Hull City in the 2013-14 season. In April 2014, he earned his first Premier League start for Tottenham in a game against Sunderland. Over the years, Kane continued to improve in his skills and tackles, and such improvement didn't go unnoticed. A month after being named the Premier League Player of the Month for the month of January 2015, Kane signed a five-years-and-a-half contract with the Spurs. He also went on to win the Premier League Player of the Month for February 2015. In April 2015, he captained his side for the first time in a match. He was included as one of the forwards in the Professional Footballers Association Team of the Year and also won the PFA Young Player of the Year Award. The following season, his performance increased as well as his goal scoring. He went on to top the league's goal scoring charts and won the Premier League Golden Boot, as well as earned a place in the PFA Team of the Year. He also went on to lead Tottenham to finish as league runner-up as well as becoming the fourth player in the history of the EPL to score 20 goals or more in three successive seasons. He was named to the PFA Team of the Year and won his second Golden Boot Award. In the 2017-18 season, Kane was the Spurs' highest goal scorer in the EPL era and was named to the PFA Team of the Year for the fourth successive time. He also signed a contract with Tottenham, which will see him at the club till 2024. The 2018-19 season was an impressive one for Kane and Tottenham as they defied the odds to make it to the UEFA Champions League final, where they lost to Premier League rivals Liverpool. Kane's ankle injury was seen by many to be one of the reasons Spurs lost to Liverpool. Harry Kane, the product of Tottenham youth system, went on raising the eyebrows at quite early age as he was one lad predicted to be a big thing in future on the football pitch. The striker talent was no hide and it just got better and better. The striker successfully led his England team to the finals of the Euro 2020 against Italy, overcoming the likes of Germany, Ukraine, and Denmark in the knockout phases, but ultimately saw his side come up short, losing three, two in the penalty shootout after the game ended one, one after full time. He has also earned a third place trophy with England at the Nations League in 2018-19. In the nine years since his breakthrough moment, Kane has shaken off the tag of a one-season wonder to become one of the Premier League's all-time greats. He's also broken Wayne Rooney's England scoring record and became England captain in 2017. At Spurs, Kane became even more prolific during his 18 months under Jose Mourinho, who converted him into an advanced number nine, which saw his understanding with Hung Min Son reach new levels. Son and Kane have combined for more Premier League goals than any other pair, and their understanding has dragged Spurs to greater heights than they would have otherwise achieved. Losing finals has been a theme of Kane's Tottenham career. Defeated in all three he's played for the club, 2015, 2019, and 2021. The tipping point for Kane came in April 2021, when Levy fired Mourinho a few days before a League Cup final against Manchester City. This was the same year England lost the European Championship final to Italy, the closest Kane has ever come to silverware. Indeed, Kane has lost 13 finals or semi-finals in his career. Kane's disillusionment with the Spurs project manifested itself in 2021, when Kane told Sky Sports of his desire to leave Tottenham and that he had a gentleman's agreement with Levy to leave. Manchester City soon arrived with a bid of £100 million, which was swiftly rejected by Spurs, leading to a standoff that saw Kane skip training in a forlorn attempt to push through a move. Two years on, during which time Kane has refined his game further to become the complete player, his patience with Spurs has finally run out. Bayern Munich have finally completed the signing of Harry Kane from Tottenham Hotspur. It was a saga that spanned most of the transfer window, but Kane is a player Bayern needs to return to Europe's elite. 
While it says a lot about the competitive state of the Bundesliga, that Bayern could make the strategic error of failing to replace Robert Lewandowski and still win the title, the man they have landed as his replacement should guarantee their domestic hegemony for at least a few more seasons. Thomas Tuchel is a long-term admirer of Kane, who not only becomes Bayern Munich's record signing and top earner, but the flagship signing of Tuchel's reshaping of the German champions. Kane's place in a forward line of Thomas Muller, Serge Gnabry, Leroy Sane and Jamal Musiala, to name but four, could and should not only protect Bayern's status as the best in the land, but make them big challengers for the European Cup again. Kane's ability to drop deep and influence the play should take some pressure off Musiala, while bringing out the best in Bayern's wingers too. But make no mistake, Kane has been signed for his goals, and there is absolutely no doubt that he will deliver. Harry Kane, Tottenham Hotspur's record goal scorer, the second highest scorer in Premier League history, the best playmaker in Tottenham's modern history, and an icon of English football, is the only player worthy of Lewandowski's mantle and will sign a deal until 2027. Kane is an elite player, and players of his ilk need silverware. He was on course to overtake Alan Shearer's landmark haul of 260 Premier League goals, but this chase will now be put on hold until his inevitable return to England, once his thirst for trophies has been quenched. We wish him all the best in his career at Bayern, and hope he wins as many trophies as possible with his goals contribution. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bells for video like this weekly.